Nearly two years of fighting COVID-19 and various mutations as threat still looms large. A new type of virus has now been detected by Chinese scientists who've called it Neo-COV. The coronavirus variant that is closely related to MERS is spreading among bats in South Africa and may even pose a danger to human life in the near future. Researchers from Wuhan University have noted that Neo-COV till date spreads exclusively among bats and that in its current form, it does not infect humans, but further mutations may make it potentially harmful. In a latest study, which is yet to be peer-reviewed, it has been seen that Neocov is shown to carry the high mortality rate of MERS and the high transmission rate of the current COVID-19 virus. Milan Sharma is getting us more details on that story. The big concern here, Milan, is that it is transmissible, is what can be to see understood from the study, which of course is yet to be peer reviewed. And also the scary bit here is that mortality could be high. Before we talk about what the kind of impact it could have on humans, we have to wait for a while, obviously to see the transmission from animals or mammals in this case to humans has happened. Well, that's what the Chinese scientists uh, have said that they've uh, seen this, uh, but it's a MERS virus. It's not a SARS-CoV virus. And that is one of the important points that differentiates it from the earlier ones. Neocov uh, has not just been in circulation now, but was also seen in 2013. And uh, there's little evidence to say that right now it's jumped from, uh, jumped from bats into humans. And uh, the scientists are waiting and watching whether the virus can actually mutate and uh, enter human body. And that would be a cause of concern, just like the SARS-CoV-2 virus is uh, transmissible. The MERS virus, how transmissible it is to currently, uh, the data that shows it's been found in bats. Uh, there's very little evidence to show and suggest that it is uh, going to harm the human uh, life at the moment. But yes, because concerns of variants remain and Omicron may not be the last variant that has also been said by the WHO and many other health organizations and experts, uh, we have to remain on guard and uh, to understand more, yes, more Milan. studies will need to be done on this. Milan Sharma with that report, thanks for the moment.